some stories, it seems, have neither rhyme nor reason. This one has both. Rhyme for a reason. It's a birthday card. Know who was born a century ago, come Tuesday next, sunshine or no? Green eggs and ham, if I ran the zoo, the 500 hats of Bartholomew. The, the 2nd of March, 1904, in Springfield, Mass. Here's his front door. He was Theodore Gassell at that time, before picking up pen and setting to rhyme. Horton, the Grinch, the Cat in the Hat, Yertle, the Turtle, books just like that. Green eggs and ham and four dozen more, full of foxes and sneeches and creatures galore. Thing one, thing two, Gertrude McFuzz. Most were as odd as odd ever was. His inventions wore feathers, had trunks and had tails, and sometimes had fins and sometimes had scales. They hopped and they ran and they swam and they mooed. They went about barefoot or were festively shooed. But they all gave delight and taught kids to read by making them laugh and by filling their need for rhymes that were bouncy and silly and fun and had a punchline per page or more than just one. The past had Hans Christian and the brothers Grimm. Pity the past, though, because we had him. And no other writer ever let loose a world like the world of our friend, Dr. Seuss. He'd be a hundred now if he were alive. As for his books, they will always survive.